What's going on? So uh, today was the day that I chose to uh, get stuck in and fix the Porsche racing car. Um, I've got a, a 3.2 litre Boxster S racing car uh, that I did the Burkitt relay with recently, an endurance race at Silverstone. Um, didn't go well, I got absolutely clattered by another driver uh, who snapped the wheel hub, um, sent me uh, hurtling towards the wall at about 130 mile an hour. Uh, luckily I was stopped by the gravel and didn't manage to hit the wall so that's good but it has left some damage um, I am going to take the wheel hub off I've got a new wheel hub and uh, a bearing to be pressed into that wheel hub uh, that's going to go on today if possible um, so yeah I'm going to the problem is is it took about 8 of us to get it on the trailer at the end of the day uh, and I can't get it off the trailer broken so I'm going to have to fix it whilst it's on the trailer so I'm going to see how that goes today the idea basically being that if I manage to get this done today then I can take the car back to my workshop because uh, I go away for Christmas I go away um, for the whole of December um, I've got lots of bits and bobs that I want to do on the car before the next season um, but even just to get it off of the trailer and into my workshop uh, in storage um, I've got to fix the car so um, that's that's the plan for today uh, so that Let's see, let's see how this goes. All right, so today is the day where we try and fix the race car. Um, I had a little incident at the Burkitt Relay. Somebody uh, wiped me out. Um, I've spoken about it a little bit previously, but um, it has basically snapped the um, wheel hub on the uh, the left side, passenger side. Um, made a lot of a lot of marks on the uh, on the front of the car, but it's just it's all cosmetic. Um, so I just need to get this uh, this wheel hub off. Um, not done this before, so should be interesting. Um, but you can see where it's just sheared in half the hole that the um, the, the track rod's supposed to sit in. So it's literally sheared in half. <laughs> So I thought you'd find this interesting, maybe, maybe not. Um, but I completely burned and fucked this screw up. Um, so in the end I had to drill it and turn it into a flathead screw. Um, obviously it's no use anymore, uh, but just to get it out, because I couldn't get it out because the drill was just spinning, screwdriver was just spinning, end up using this bad boy. I drilled it a couple of times with a tiny drill bit and then smashed the um, screwdriver with a hammer into it to try and make it more of a flathead. Uh, finally got it out. Little fucker. All right, so I managed to get the uh, wheel hub off um, and then I took it to a garage and uh, that the new hub and the new bearing have been pressed together so they're ready to go back on. However, when I took the original hub off, realized that the coffin arm, the lower coffin arm, uh, or control arm is is messed up too. The the ball joint on it is is a bit messed up, so I'm gonna have to. They, they don't come apart either, so I can't just order a ball joint. I have to order the whole arm. So uh, I've ordered another one of them, which I'm picking up uh, in a minute. Um, so I'm kind of done for the day with the Porsche. There's not really much I can do, unfortunately, because of that. It means I can't I haven't been able to do it all in a day. Um, I'll have to go back probably Wednesday now uh, and finish the job off. Uh, but at least then the car, I can roll the car on and off the trailer. This is why I'm having to fix the car on the trailer because it's broken and I can't get it on and off. Um, so it's annoying. But yeah, so essentially I just need to pick this part up and then um, when I next go back to where the Porsche is stored, I will, uh, I'll be able to fix it, finish it off whilst it's on the trailer. And then hopefully if I fix it correctly, it should just roll off the trailer nicely uh, and I can put it away for the winter in its workshop and do, um, any of the kind of cosmetic work or upgrade work or anything that I want to do for next season um, when I come back from Panto in January. So that's the plan. Uh, I've also been driving around like a blue ass fly today, uh, running around like blue ass fly, trying to uh, sort out my missus car, which has been a pain in the ass, um, but now seems to have like fixed itself, which is, I mean, cars, I've no idea what's going on. All right, I'm back today with the Porsche. Um, to be honest, I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it seems to be being um it's I've, I've kind of done most of it um that's that's the new hub um i put the new control arm on it's all loose at the minute i've not tightened it all up um but just adding the track rod i'm gonna now put that in there um can't get the, the nut off of that because 
it didn't come off by me doing it up, uh, undoing it. It came off when the hub snapped when I was racing. So um, it's on tight at the moment. So I need to try and loosen that, which is difficult when it's not in the hub. Um, but I can't get it in the hub because the nut's still on. Um, so yeah, going to do that. Add that track rod and that one. And then hopefully put the hub on, the caliper on. And we should be, uh, we should be good. together. Weather's nice. This one is the same. <laughs> this is pointing straight but slightly to the left. And this one's pointing straight but slightly to the left. Yeah, gonna need some tracking done on that, but it's a uh, bit of wheel alignment, bit of tracking, uh, buff out a dent, and then a new wrap, and the car will be sweet. Probably worth having a little nut and bolt check as well. <laughs> Thank God. All right, so it's only like uh, four o'clock. Um, it does get dark in a minute, but I'm wondering whether to take it back to the workshop. The problem is, if I take it back to the workshop today, I have to roll it off myself, because at the moment, James Harvey nicked my air oil separator off the car, and I don't want to start it without an air oil separator. Once mine was wounded, and he was trying to get his one back on, he <laughs> uh, <laughs> stole part of my engine um, to do so, but uh he's sending that back so once i can get that back on i can drive it off at the moment if i go back to the unit i've got to roll it off myself and then roll it back in which is an arse ache on your own um i'm strong but i'm not that strong <laughs> uh do i do it or do i wait all right so i've just asked my dad very nicely if he'll come and help me <laughs> get it off um, this is very difficult on my own so uh, that's what we're going to do i'm going to strap it in clear the tools up and we're going to take it back tonight battered that was really hard <laughs> pushing that in um but yeah all done car's fixed meant that we could get it off the trailer it's now in its home i'm going to stick a car cover on it but there it is and uh we can shut up shop for christmas and go again next year see you later dad what size of this bastard Hello, mate.